Alright, so this is just going to be all cassette tape listening, because I haven't heard any of these. I don't think I have. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British Military Hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. He said I was in a British Military Hospital. But the doctor had a Greek accent. They hire locally. Easier to trust them. De Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. The Cyprus dispute is still a long way from resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots in the north, Greek Cypriots in the south. Between them, the Green Line, the UN established. And De Kelly sits right on top of it. It does. Part of the buffer zone between the two groups. Another reason it was the perfect place to hide you. Easy to spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do things stand? Now, last year, the Turks declared that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is an independent state. Though it's only Turkey that recognizes it. In the past, the Greeks and Turks lived side by side in the same villages. There are reasons to fight. Those came from the outside. Greece, Turkey, Britain, America. They all had their own stake in pitting the two sides against each other. But once you spark something like this, it's impossible to control. Both sides build up grudges like debt, without the foresight to see that each act of revenge just fans the flames, and then it's too late for other nations to rush in with peace talks. The embers keep on smoldering. Each nation's arrogance only breeds anarchy. The world is paralyzed by this hunger for revenge. Cyprus is no different. Changing ships? We can't go sailing the Suez in a whaler. The Suez Canal. When did they reopen it? Not long after you were attacked. Once they finished sweeping it for mines after the Arab-Israeli conflict. Can you stand? <sighs> we're gonna transfer to a container ship for passage through the Suez. Our destination is Pakistan, Afghanistan's neighbor to the south. There we disembark and head via Peshawar to the zero line, the border. We'll travel to the Khyber Pass by road. And then? We continue on horseback. Afghanistan's main roads are under Soviet control. We'll need to go around them. It'll be all narrow, winding paths through the mountains. We'll do better on horseback. It's a local guerrilla tactic. They use the higher ridges to avoid air recons. Then they charge down the mountains for ambushes. The Soviets still haven't devised a counter strategy. Our time frame is only half as much as we really need. It'll be a tough march. Better horses than boats. Well, it'll make for good physiotherapy. Take the time to get used to that new arm. While the Soviets have indicated they are not participating in the Los Angeles Olympics, primarily because the United States has made no attempt to guarantee the safety of the Soviet Union's athletes, the United States is increasingly demonstrating the belief that the issue has nothing to do with its preparations. And in fact, this is retaliation for the Western nation's boycott of the previous Moscow Olympics. That concludes today's news. That's quite some news. Uh, the Soviet Union not attending the LA Olympics? Yeah. Andropov's death has changed some things. They're calling it revenge for the Western boycott of the Moscow Olympics. Countries boycotted the Moscow Olympics? Yes in protest of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan. Over 50 countries were absent. It's too bad I didn't get to see Yamashita's judo. When the 40th Army crossed the Amu River four years ago, detente went right out the window. The U.S. Congress chose not to ratify SALT II, and Reagan's hardline politics won in the presidency in a landslide. According to him, the Soviet Union's an evil empire. <laughs> the Second Cold War. And there's been no end to regional conflicts and civil wars. 
Lebanon, the Falklands, Grenada, Iran, Iraq. The story never changes. Egypt and Israel did sign a peace treaty. But then the driving force on the Egyptian side, President Sadat, was assassinated afterward. Apparently, his actions were considered a betrayal of his fellow Arabs. Islamic extremists? Yes. Fundamentalist extremists have been responsible for some bold acts of terrorism in recent years. We've had extremist students in Iran take U.S. embassy workers hostage in suicide bombings in Lebanon. Over 300 foreign soldiers stationed there have been killed. The countries have yet to develop an effective means of dealing with terrorism. Afraid of losing their own men, they pulled their forces out, handing private forces a golden opportunity. Private forces? Small armies with no national affiliation, working for the highest bidder. That's right, they got the idea from you. After Mother Base went down, they began spreading to meet the soaring demand. Miller's organization is just one of many PFs now. The entire world is after you. But at the same time, it needs you too. Miller. Osla. I hear they started calling you Shalashaska in Afghanistan. What's that about? <laughs> you know the term Sharashka? It's slang for a suspicious, hastily thrown together organization. The word became associated with a type of forced labor facility. We were lucky to develop. There's no one who can so much as maintain that thing. Bionic arm, cyborg. But what he. But you're right. The East is years ahead in bionics. They. Triple six. That back in the I guess that didn't really reach the West. Snake's arm. I and for you at the time, you know, would forget it. I've no intention of relying on it. Right now, I need to gain fresh mind. Decision. Inconvenient? Not a bit. But the phantom pain. It never lets up. Do you know how many men I saw die that day? There's nothing do to bring them back. And you expect me to care about getting a measly off? <sighs> Sorry. But my mom's bad. I had the R&D team analyze the honeybee. How? The CIA wanted it with everything intact. They took it apart to look at it. Then they put it back together. Everything intact. <laughs> That's the R&D boys, all right. Turns out the honeybee's homing capabilities are a cut above previous manpaths. It can detect a broad range of infrared wavelengths, and even ultraviolet for supplementary guidance. Hence the name, huh? Right. Honeybees rely on UV light to fly. With this device, flares don't do the target any good. That's why the Soviets are losing so many gunships, and why the CIA was so desperate to get it back. It wasn't just about preventing the Soviets from devising countermeasures. What if the likes of Iran got their hands on it? American aircraft would be put at risk, too. We can use this tech to develop our own portable missile. That'll give us a huge advantage. It'll take a little time before the analysis results can be applied to actual implementation. But we'll keep moving with the research. Okay. That got kind of boring, so I don't want to do it anymore. I was just eating.
Where am I going? There's the combat. Medical. Wait. <clears throat> Caution. Heavy mist anticipated. Huh. Holy shit. I don't know, I'm looking again, but whatever. Please select a mission. objective is to rescue and extract a Mujahid captured by the Soviets. He's being held in the ruins of Lamar Hati Palace, as are a lot of POWs. Civilians, guerrillas, suspected guerrillas. The Soviets have turned the place into their own black site. However, we've only been asked to rescue one of the prisoners. He's known as Malak, angel to his fellow Mujahideen. The client is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. resigned. And Nicaragua has a new government. The man is really working hard for her country to be reborn. Good for them. She says she wishes Chico could be there. That revolution was the dream. For Amanda. For Chico. And their father. That chopper was no place for Chico to die. I'd like to at least think history will remember his part in the revolution. When you pick up a gun, there's always a chance you'll die for nothing. He knew that as well as the rest. Now that he's gone, it's up to the rest of us to decide what it was all worth. If we don't, there's nothing to prove that Chico ever lived at all. Where is Mark on the world? Amanda told us that Strangelove contacted her after the revolutionaries came to power in Nicaragua. Strangelove? The AI researcher from Mother Base? I remember her. We'd lost touch with her. Till Amanda heard from her out of the blue. She told Amanda she wanted to salvage Peace Walker's dry parts, or something from the bottom of the lake. I don't care. <laughs> uh, fucking... Pick me up. 
Please select a landing zone. Roger. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LC. Huh? What is this? <clears throat> I could go to the animal? Bound thing? Whatever the fuck I have? The zoo. Oh shit. It really is a zoo. Wow. I need to take more animals. Okay. Is there like no real interaction with them? Birds. I don't think I have any birds.
Okay. Pretty pointless. I thought I would see D Dog. I did. Okay. Oh wait, no. no. What's going on? No, oh, come on. I I just want to go to a mission, please. Where are you taking me? Oh my god. Fucking come back here. Welcome back, boss. Pick me up, Roger. you fucking asshole. Didi, stay. Didi. Fully trained and ready Whoa. for action. The rest is up to you. Didi, go. <laughs>
Unit function added. Development project has been... Boss, I've been meaning to tell you something. Our old friend Zero hasn't been seen in public since you left the States. That was over ten years ago now. You suspected he was responsible for the accident at your base in the Caribbean. But at that point, Zero was already bedridden. So it never felt right to me that Zero gave the order. Now that I've seen the man Emmerich was working for, I'm sure he didn't. I know that man. He was our old friend's XO. A man without a face. Not one you want to look at, anyway. Skullface. He's the one who destroyed your base nine years ago. The unit he commands, XOF, was Cypher's strike force. But he's since split from Zero and used XOF to usurp control over Cypher itself. In other words, the Cypher we're hunting isn't Zero. Beyond Zero is a void that's even darker. Skullface. When first came here, she demonstrated her marksmanship against that enemy fighter plane. It showed she was much more than your everyday crack shot. Hitting a moving target from 600 meters is a challenge, but it's possible with the right training and equipment. But shooting down that missile, that's a world apart from taking out a soldier on patrol. The chopper and the missile were in motion, meaning different vectors at high velocity in three-dimensional space and she shot an unguided bullet that had to fight air resistance and gravity. All that while the chopper was taking evasive maneuvers. Some of the best target leading I've ever known. She has a superhuman sense of spatial awareness. You put her in a fighter jet, and she'd be an ace right off the bat. Hell, your judgment was top class, too. Realizing she could take out that pilot? That's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard. And that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening. And? Well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. Poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing. That didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, or just plain stubborn, she won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff, the base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> so what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. When I look at her, I sense hesitation. You think she'd betray Cypher? Can't say for sure. I prefer the ones that talk. Anyway, we'll keep her under watch. And we're also looking into those special abilities of hers. You'll be the first to know if something comes up. Why not look in on her yourself once in a while? Right. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan.
Alright. is to rescue a prisoner being held at Lamar Khatib Palace. He's known as Malak, angel to his fellow Mujahideen. Start by checking the target's VI on your iDroid. The Soviets captured him and took him to the ruins of the palace. His family was subsequently killed in an airstrike on his village. The Soviets scorched Earth operation wiped it off the map. The client is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. To rescue other prisoners as well. Each one will add a bonus to our pay. When you see them, I'm sure your conscience will tell you what to do. Wait, what? Bonus to my pay, why? Fuck. Holy crap. Oh, it's this place? Have I ever been here? Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. There, that's the target. Oh. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
Analysis complete. Died. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Shit. Prisoner has died. Come on, damn it. <sighs> I didn't know I was supposed to go way down there. Oh, come on. 